Hey, welcome to another episode of, or another session of Burefest. Um, this is kind of a special one, and I just wanted to interrupt the normal flow and take a tiny bit of your time just to explain the background. So I'm talking to Christian Berger about brewing without malt. Um, Christian has been researching traditional brewing techniques for decades, so he's built up quite a, an incredible resource, really, at his website, beer-studies.com. You should check it out. Um, so... As part of that, he basically has identified or listed six methods for extracting the sugar out of the starch or the grain. Um, and basically what I brought him on to talk about is just to talk about that, to go through the, the six methods. One of those is malting, but the other five are completely, completely unrelated to it in many ways. Um, and they include the big, the way most beer is brewed in the world um, using fungi. So it's a big topic. Christian had a, um, had a presentation, but rather than do the presentation and then a question and answer session, we did the questions throughout the, the presentation. Um, and we ended up talking for nearly three hours. So I think it's a bit long to have a three hour session now. So I'm going to release this as two parts. And this is the first part. We're going to cover the first three pathways to extracting that sugar, sacrificing the, the starch. And the second session will then cover the latter three. Um, so, like I said, I think you'll find it very interesting. Um, I hope that you, you'll you get as much out of it as I did. Um, and I'm rambling now, so I will stop talking. And we'll go over to Christian and we'll let him talk beer. I have with me Christian Berger from beerstudies.com. He's going to talk to us about um, basically brewing without malt, um, which I think most people, if they think beer, they think brewing, the first thing that jumps into their head is probably you know, malted barley, hops, water, yeast. And then they stop for a while and they think you don't really need the hops. And then maybe they stop for a while longer and they think, well, you don't really need barley. But somewhere they'll get stuck on the malting as being an essential thing but it, it but it's not basically there are the, the purpose as christian will tell us is to of malting is primarily to get the sugars out that you can ferment so but there are different ways of doing that so christian um welcome uh can i ask maybe first of all what is um what's your background how how did you get interested in this? Where did you just get the idea to set up beerstudies.com? Because I'll tell you now, it's an incredible resource. If anybody hasn't checked it out, you should check it out now. It is really that there's a huge amount of information. So how did you get that website set up? What's the background? <laughs> I started the, the, to study the, the, the beer, mainly beer history, uh, 40 years ago. Uh, and I published a book about beer history and beer in general, taste and beer and, and, and many kind of breweries around the world. Uh, the book has been published in the year uh, 1885. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, in French. <laughs> it has been translated in, also in Finnish and Spanish, but okay. not in English. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Uh, and uh, then I, uh, I realized that the beer story, it's, uh, it's, it's a great uh, intellectual adventure. I mean, uh, 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 I discover a, lo a lot of uh, different uh, kind of brewery. Uh, I also discover the social history of beer, and it's uh, amazing. It's an amazing world. You yeah. travel around the world. You discover a lot of uh, different traditional societies in the world, in Africa, in South America, in Asia, and so on and so on. So it's a... Uh, never-ending travel <laughs> and uh, I start the, the beer, beer, uh, uh, beer studies website uh, in the year uh, 2012 
it started and it, it, so it's uh, that's the uh, almost t- ten years uh, ten years it is t- ten years old now and uh, now it uh, has a, a huge amount of uh, of uh, data and uh, document and so on. I'm not alone to to manage this website. Uh, okay. I have a lot of uh, 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 pe- people, okay. uh, mainly uh, ethnologists, okay. uh, specialists of uh, mainly Africa, uh, and. Uh, Sometimes they contribute to to, to the true website. Okay. The uh, the last one was uh, a famous uh, specialist of uh, Cameroon, North Cameroon, Christian Seignobos. Okay. Uh, famous famous uh, famous one people because he he lived in in North Cameroon uh, during uh, almost thirty years, <laughs> wow. a long a long time, uh, a geographer. Ethnologist, sociologist, and so on, and so on. I mean, has published uh, uh, some works about beer, traditional beer in uh, in Cameroon. Okay, yeah, I started. Your... That's that's a, that's my personal story. Okay. <laughs> part, yeah, part of it. <laughs> just on the Cameroon one, you mentioned that to me today, so I I downloaded it, but um, I kind of took a glance at the first yeah, yeah. pages, and that's as far as I got. But again, it's. Yeah, Cameroon is a very interesting uh, uh, country. I mean, North Cameroon, Northern Cameroon, okay. uh, because it's uh, it's it has been part of a, uh, of a long, long African history. Uh, this means that Africa has a long history. <laughs> it's yeah. not maybe the general idea about uh, among people. Uh, sometimes people say that, uh, that there's no history in Africa. That's completely wrong, <laughs> but uh, you have to prove it. And uh, in in uh, in this part of Africa, the, 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 the Sudanese Africa, for, for, let's say uh, the, the the this part of Africa which is uh, uh, below the uh, uh, sub-Saharan okay. Africa. Uh, it goes from, uh, let's say, Senegal to Ethiopia. Right. Um, there, uh, in the in this uh, part of Africa, they they, they grow uh, a lot of cereal like uh, millette, sorgho, and, and so on. And they brew a lot of beer. <laughs> <laughs> and the 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 social uh, uh, structure. Traditional structure are mainly uh, 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 I can I can find the, the word uh, the, 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 they are the beer play a, a major role in in the social structure. They, for example, they have working group. They they, they, they work. In, I mean, in a traditional society. They, they they work uh, in in team, and uh, the the peop- the the guy of the family who uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, ask for agriculture work, for example, uh, 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 Cultivate, uh, cultivate field and so on and so on, uh, harvest, uh, grain. Uh, they ask for uh, uh, people in the village or around the village to work for them. And uh, they, they, uh, they give, uh, f- for the work, they give beer. <laughs> it's not really a salary. Uh, it's, it's not a payment. It's just uh, um, uh, let's say yeah. uh, exchange. Okay. This yeah. is just one example for for, uh, for, for the, the usage of beer. That that's kind of you uh, beer uh, use uh, uh, are completely for, for forgotten in in our society. For example, we don't brew special beer for a funeral, for a wedding. For uh, birth, 
but in, in this African society, they, they, they brew beer on, on uh, each uh, occasion. Okay, for special, yeah, yeah. whereas we've become, it's more of a... And the other fact is in this uh, African area, uh, th there is a, a long history, and uh, by chance, this story has been documented. Okay. Re written documents are quite very rare in Africa. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, all documents. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, before the, let's say, the 19th century, uh, except the, the colonial documents. Yeah. Uh, document from uh, colonial sources. Mm -hmm. So, uh, with such document, you go, you go back to the 11th century and uh, you can build. Uh, a, a kind of historical framework. That's a very interesting. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's like for Africa. <laughs> the whole culture around beer is something uh, that I think I, I know I did. A lot of people do that. Just start drinking some beer, and then you discover you you kind of go down this little rabbit hole of discovering the culture behind it and the different <laughs> things. It, it does open up the whole world. Um, and uh, maybe, I mean. Maybe we can go to your presentation. You have a, we can talk through it and kind of talk as we go through the slides because yeah, beer is relevant. Because the first thing I guess is, you know, what is beer? That there's a. I only discovered recently that there's actually a debate among archaeologists about how to define a beer. So, mm -hmm. um, so maybe you can talk through there. I mean, like I said, most people would think malt, but it's not essential. Yeah, you, <laughs> you have okay, okay. You, okay. Uh, so I want to explain uh, the, what I, I've called uh, the, the six pathway for brewing in the world. Uh, pathway must be understood as a technical, uh, technical uh, specific method to brew beer. So uh, the main purpose of this uh, presentation will, will be the, the uh, brewing process without malt <laughs> or without malting. <laughs> uh, so we'll talk about first the, the, the source of the, the six uh, different methods for brewing beer. I mean the, 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 the basic uh, the basic fact. Uh, after that I, I will uh, show a diagram, a technical diagram for the, the six brewing method and talk uh, after that uh, about the, the historical background of the six method because uh, uh, I will speak about it. Uh, and maybe after that, if we have time, uh, a video to show a video on the making of a, a amylolytic ferment in Bhutan. Okay. And, uh, a discussion. Yeah, perfect. So let's start. Uh, that's ju just general fact, but it's, it's to to show the 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 scene. <laughs> yeah. uh, so uh, the the beer is a result of a saccharification of starch, of course, and uh, the simultaneous or sequential alcoholic fermentation. Uh, uh, I say that because uh, with the malting process, we are used to have two steps, uh, technical step. First, the sarcification, and after that, with the yeast, the alcoholic fermentation. But in other uh, brewing process, the, these two uh, technical uh, transformation are mainly simultaneous. I mean, on the same vessel or the same, yeah, same pot, <laughs> brewing pot, uh, both process uh, occur. So man, mankind has brew beer from all, all, all sources of starch. Uh, of course, cereal. Uh, as we know, uh, barley, wheat, uh, maize, uh, millet, and so on. But also uh, tubers uh, like uh, cassava, yam, taro, and so on. 
starchy, starchy roots uh, and fruits like uh, plantain, banana, a kind of banana, a carob. A carob, it's, it's a tree which bear, which bear uh, uh, starchy fruits, uh, bread fruits, our roots, uh, canonica, and so on, so on. And uh, also the, uh, the marrow of a specific tree, which is called the sago. Maybe you know that sago palm. It's a, a kind of tree uh, which grew in, uh, it's for example, in uh, uh, South America, but also in Indonesia, in the uh, far south, East Asia, and so on. Uh, these six method, brewing methods, have been used throughout the world uh, for about uh, 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 13 millennia. Uh, five of them are biochemical. I, I mean, they use amylases, uh, enzymatic amylases, uh, coming from saliva or from seeds from amylolytic fungi, from amylolytic plants, and uh, also from uh, the amylases that come from the over ripening of uh, fruits, starchy fruits. Mm -hmm. And only one is purely chemical. Uh, the, w w when you use uh, a sorrow medium, you put it in, in it uh, starch, uh, cooked starch, uh, it uh, a sacrification, uh, uh, sorry, uh, a sacrifice action uh, take place. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so yeah. So you're saying there's, if I can just take one step back there. So just, just yeah. to summarize. So while a lot of people, you, you're saying you define beer basically as starch. It, it's a mod of it, if it has starch in it, then that's what differentiates a beer from, say, a wine. It doesn't yeah. need it doesn't need to be a grain. It just needs to be a starch. Uh, that was... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. For example, uh, in in South America, to to take just one one example, uh, Amerindian people. Uh, in Amazonia or in, uh, in in Peru and so on, they, they 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 brew beer with cassava. Okay, it's not grain. <laughs> yeah, they also brew beer with uh, the the sweet potato. Okay, you know it, it, that, they, makes, they, they, that makes perfect sense. Be, but it, the yeah. reason I wanted to just interrupt there was, like I said, I recently just last week mm -hmm. someone told me there's a some argument among archaeologists or something about how to define beer. So I want that to be, you know, want to be clear that it's not necessarily have to have grain in it in the same way. It doesn't need to be malted or it doesn't need to have hops. It's a starch that mm -hmm. somehow or other you can extract the mm -hmm. sugars. And then your six ways you've listed are essentially ways to get the sugar out. And that's what malting does as well. Mm -hmm. That's the primary. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. a, that's a, that's a basic technical definition of beer. Beer is is made from starch. Yeah. Whatever the source of the starch. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but some people are very very picky about you know the whatever their yeah. tradition of beer is is beer. And I know, for instance, there's some people who say sake is not beer. You know. Um, and they dispute that and say it's a different drink. So I just want to be clear on on our definitions here for for this. Yeah, yeah. Like, sake is a beer. Yeah, I, I would agree. <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I know that. Uh, let's say forty years ago, it, it, it was a uh, uh, it was a topic in, in discussion. It was uh, some people agree that sake was a beer. I mean, technically, not. Uh, culturally but technically it's a beer uh, and, and some people say no no it's wrong because the sake it's not like our beer it's not uh, there's no foam uh, he, he, there's, it, uh, he, he doesn't like uh, our beer 
but technical aids severe. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. I just wanted to, like I said, clarify that so anybody watching you can. Beer is, and we're sticking to it. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> you have the six pathways, then of you have your your source of starch, whether it's grain, whether it's a root, whether it's a tuber, whatever it is, and then you want to get the starch, convert that starch into sugar, and there are six different ways to do that. Five of which, one of which is chemical, and the rest are using enzymes. Yeah. So, mm. so where do the enzymes come from? I guess mm -hmm. we will see on the next page. We will see the the technical diagram. Okay. And okay. Uh, it, it, it's uh, it's 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 a perfect way to see that uh, there are common uh, technical step uh, between these six different uh, technical method to brew beer. And uh, one of them is uh, the the way to uh, to cook the raw starch. I, I will explain that then on the next page. Okay, sorry to interrupt. Uh, whatever the source of the starch, you have to undergo the same uh, the same technical uh, step. Okay. Okay. Because the starch ca cannot uh, saccharify uh, spontaneously. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just uh, uh, one point. So the 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 classification of these techniques are based on on the, the way of. Uh, Uh, treat the starch. Okay. So there's no point about the yeast or the alcoholic fermentation. Right, I understand. Mm. So this is purely about getting yeah, those it's a different. Uh, so the next page. Uh, uh, so technically speaking, yeah, the beer different differs from wine in its origin, the starch. <clears throat> So, as clear from uh, for everybody, starch does not ferment uh, spontaneously. If you put uh, raw grain in water and let it, and it, it will be root. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it it will root, but it, it doesn't ferment. It yeah. doesn't clarify uh, spontaneously. So, to convert the starch into sugar, you have to undergo several. Uh, Technical transformation, uh, because in its natural state, starch is stored by plants in the form of uh, semi-crystalline uh, granule. Okay. Uh, uh, a starch granule it's it's a, a dry concentrate of a thousand of to two billions of long chain of glucose, and. Uh, that's a reason why the the start the raw starch must be uh, water and cook to release the const the contents of the the starch granule. Okay. Then you will get a, a, a kind of starchy paste or slurry or something like that. And uh, in uh, in a starchy paste. The really starch macromolecule can be subject to the enzymatic action of the amylase, or organic acid, like the lactic or acetic acid. Uh, in this uh, second transformation, the hydrolysis of a polysaccharide into fermentable sugar, and uh, this is the root. Uh, as I said before, this is the root of the six uh, brewing uh, pathways. So the first one is uh, very, uh, let's say, simple. <laughs> uh, you use your own saliva <laughs> or the saliva of your neighbor <laughs> uh, to, to shoe uh, uh, a cooked starch. That's very important to, 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 to cook the starch before, 
uh, as I explained be, uh, uh, on, on the previous slide, uh, raw starch can be cooked to, uh, to free the starchy granary. Okay. So you, you, you cook, you shoot uh, the, the starch. Uh, for which reason? Just to insalivate the starch and then uh, have every human people, but also uh, many mammalian uh, uh, beings, uh, have in, the, in their own saliva, they are a, a very strong uh, amylase, which is called tialine. And uh, this tialine is able, it's an, uh, an enzyme, uh, it, it's able to quickly convert the starch into sugar, <laughs> okay. fermentable sugar. So, as the diagram showed, uh, you cook, you first cook uh, the, the the starch, uh, whatever the, the the source of starch. It can be uh, starch from grain, but starch also from uh, uh, roots, from uh, fruits and so on and so on. Uh, you let it uh, cool down. You shoo the starch, just, <clears throat> that's very important. You don't have to, sh to, to shoo uh, all the starch, only maybe 10, 10 or 15% uh, of the starch, not, not more. Okay. Then you spit it out uh, in, in, the, in the main, uh, the main uh, uh, portion of starch. Uh, and it's uh, uh, the, the the saccharification of the starch occur occurs very very quickly because the ptialine is a very powerful uh, uh, enzyme. Okay. And Th thanks to this uh, ptialine, uh, human people are uh, able to eat and digest the starch. <laughs> That's uh, uh, the result of a long uh, uh, biological evolution. <laughs> okay, it makes sense. <laughs> it's completely natural. And uh, what I want to, to, to say, j j just a, a little comment. Uh, people say that it, it, it's a dig disgusting uh, way of brewing beer but it's, it's not the case uh, i explain why like here this is the saccharification of starch and then the fermentation uh, take place when the fermentable uh, sugar are available and during the fermentation uh, every let's say uh, uh, bad microorganisms are killed, completely killed, because uh, the fermentation uh, uh, produces uh, 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 alcohol. So alcohol kills the uh, non unwanted uh, microorganisms. And so uh, you produce uh, a safe beer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a... Uh, that's the main point. <laughs> this brewing method is, is very well documented. Uh, it's used in uh, South America. Uh, it's made of maize, cassava, quinoa. Quinoa is a kind of uh, uh, gramine. Gramine, it's uh, uh, people know what is quinoa, uh, yeah. I guess. Sweet potatoes and so on. Okay. And it also used. Uh, it has been used, and it's still. It, 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 no, it's still used uh, in uh, some uh, indigenous people of Taiwan living in Taiwan, also in uh, Hokkaido, Sakhalin. It's uh, it's uh, an island uh, north to Japan. Okay, and they they still do it to this day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
For example, if you go to, if you travel to, to the uh, Guyana, uh, Guyanas, that's a uh, uh, little countries north of uh, Brazil. You have the French Guyana, Guyana, uh, but also Suriname and the British Guyana. And there in, in those country, uh, Amerindian people, uh, are used to 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 brew that kind of beer. It's okay. called a kashiri, for example, in French Guyana. <laughs> and um, yeah, we've actually got a question. I'll interrupt there. I'll just show it up. Um, so I know you're you're talking about the pathways here, but in neither Taiwan or in Guyana, do they do they add herbs to this, or like as as their traditional thing? Do they add anything, or do they just drink it? as a fermented as it comes out yeah 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 they, they, they use uh, some uh, local herbs to but they, they these uh, herbs are mainly used to to as aromatics okay not as a fermenting agent uh, and of course not as a, a saccharific saccharifying agent <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, so, okay. Saliva, uh, tialin is is uh, stronger enough to to saccharify a, a, a big uh, a big amount of starch. Okay. Um, I, I had a, very, a very powerful uh, yeah. Uh, compound. <laughs> yeah, because that that's where I I mean you mentioned you know people treat it think it's disgusting and that my first that would be my first thing too but. I think I always thought that you had to chew the whole lot. Um, <laughs> when you're doing 5%, it suddenly sounds a lot more respectable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, so the chewing, like you, you're chewing, does that activate this, the, the enzymes or could you just kind of spit into the, the cooked starch without chewing? The, what, what does the chewing bring to it? Does, uh, does it gen so you're taking your starch and you're chewing it, which is giving it the saliva. Yeah. But do you need, what does the chewing actually activate? Like, could you just go and spit into the big pot a lot of time? Would that work? Or do you, does chewing actually do something? So let me try and rephrase this. If I had a big pot of cooked starch, and then they they chew some and they spit it back in, and that yeah. just saliva. If instead I I spent a day spitting into a jug and I just had a jug of saliva and I poured mm -hmm. that in instead of chewing, th would that work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The chewing is just kind of yeah less disgusting looking. <laughs> okay. Mm, no. Okay, and does anybody? All of these are done in one pot no one boils none of these cultures boil the the beer afterwards or separate out the the sugars to be fermented separately do they yeah yeah they, they uh huh. it's, it's it's a quite complex question uh, uh, uh for example uh even am among these uh uh a meridian living in, uh, in uh, Guyana, and the brewing method has uh, evolved. Now they they use a different method because they they are they are being convinced by uh, let's say uh, a nutritionist or uh, people involved in uh, in uh, development uh, project to avoid. This brewing method as okay. a disgusting method <laughs> and not an uh, unsanitary uh, method. That's wrong, but uh, yeah, uh, they they sometimes uh, get money to to do this uh, for, to to okay. change that method. So they they use another method. Uh, this mainly the 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 method number six. They use a sour medium to to brew uh, beer from cassava. Okay, okay. 
So this is really you know, very to, to, to show the the starch anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, it remains because uh, it's also considered as a traditional way to brew beer, and uh, it's a cultural uh, feature. <laughs> okay. And traditional. Yeah. Yeah, but that's but what it, it, it's made. It's made in the jungle. <laughs> it's uh, uh, out of the ear uh, of the eyes of uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, Western people, <laughs> and they they brew and uh, drink the, their beer uh, uh, between them. <laughs> um. So just one question before we move on to that. So again, I know this is kind of outside of the pathway but when they brew it how long does this beer do they drink it straight away i presume there's no kind of storing or anything they brew they drink they brew again yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. here the, the the alcoholic uh of course it's, there's no pasteurization there's no so uh you you have to 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 drink the beer uh let's say uh no more than uh, one or two days after the okay. the brewing <laughs> Okay. After okay. it becomes uh, completely uh, ascetic, sour, completely oh. sour. Okay, so the yeah, the so it's mm. only uh, a, a way to brew uh, fresh beer. <laughs> okay, and this would be of course, there's no fridge, there's <laughs> no uh, chemical add to 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 keep the beer and and so on. <laughs> and this would be, I, I guess, would have been done everywhere in the world at some point. That there's probably no reason to think any that anybody didn't brew this way. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, that's that's a, a, an historical question. Yeah, I'm just uh, because like, some yeah. of the other ways that we'll be coming to are kind of more specific, whereas this seems like it's everybody could have done it at some point. Uh, you, you you mean that uh, people who, who, who use its brewing metal uh, maybe have another choice to 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 uh, another uh, an, an alternative brewing yeah. metal? Yeah, that uh, they might. Oh, like, yeah. This would have been one of the probably original brewing methods that every culture in the world used. Ah, I'm not sure. Uh, oh. Yeah. It, it, uh, yeah, anthropologists say that uh, the the chewing brewing method is very archaic, and it it could be a, a, a it should be a very uh, a primitive method to brew it. But uh, I'm not sure that uh, it's really true. Okay. Uh, yeah, they 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 have uh, imagined that. Uh, uh, people in the, in the cave during uh, before the Neo Neolithic period uh, used to 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 brew their beer their beer with uh, uh, with that method. Uh, uh, it's a quite it's a quite complex uh, uh, topic. Okay. Uh, this yeah, how to explain that. Uh, we are so uh, accustomed to, to to the, for example, to to brewing method using malt that uh, we think that other methods are uh, simpler or more uh, primitive. But that's not true. Uh, the the the. We will see. We we'll see that with with uh, the, the amyl amyloidic uh, okay. starter. Okay, maybe we move all, on. All, all this brewing. Uh, what, what I want to say: all this brewing method uh, are uh, uh, quite complicated to 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 uh, to realize. To uh, this this brewing method with saliva. Uh, seems to be simple or archaic, but it's not. Uh, you have uh, to take care to each 
step, carefully uh, chew the, the starch, and so on and so on. It seems simpler, but it's not really. Okay. 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 So uh, this, this brewing method with saliva is not uh, as archaic as uh, people believe. Okay. Okay, <laughs> that, that, that's that, that's my question answered. So. Yeah. Okay, so so what it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, this question remain uh, remains open. We right. don't we don't have enough uh, let's say archaic or uh, archaic uh, uh, data from uh, archaeology to 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 answer it. Okay. 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 So um, yeah, I think that's all the questions on on method one. So let's try. Yeah. Number two. Number two. <laughs> oh, number two. Uh, uh, this I, I can know. Pass, uh, pass over it uh, uh, quite quickly because uh, everybody, enfin, I think, I think so. Everybody yeah. know the the brewing method with malting. <laughs> yeah. So it's not uh, the, the the main topic today. Uh, everybody know how how to 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 malt uh, barley or wheat or so on or maize and so. And, and uh, it's, it's a classical uh, two-step brewing method. First, uh, make the malt, and then uh, brew, brew beer with the malt. Uh, I maybe pass uh, quickly on the... Yeah, I just, I, I'll ask one question yeah. here, because, um, because I'm just worrying, in the other methods you have, and we'll see it later, I think it's all in one pot. The mm -hmm. sacrification and the fermenting take place kind of yeah. simultaneously, but with the with malting, obviously, you know, our brewing methods, we you you have the wort, so you you get the sugary water out, and then mm -hmm. you move it somewhere else to ferment. Um, is there a reason that, or has it always been that way, or is there a reason that the wort is separated out when it's not happening in the other methods, or is Put it the other way is there a reason the other methods don't take out the um that the others the other methods say using saliva or using the the amyl am amylolytic plants mm -hmm. don't take the wort out and they leave it ferment at the same time is there is that a cultural or a technical reason no no it's a technical reason okay technical reason yeah Okay. Uh, the, the, you, you don't need you don't need the 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 word step, let's say the the liquid step, to to extract the 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 sugar. Okay. Okay. It's completely technical. Okay, I wasn't sure whether there was a reason or not. Okay, so uh, okay, so let's move on. So since we know, assuming most people know about malt, so let's go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 yeah. The, the main point is, if uh, for the brewing method number two, you have a, a two-step method. Two, uh, uh, except uh, just yeah. for the brewing method, uh, I, I don't speak about uh, the malting, the malting uh, uh, process. Okay. But with the brewing, you have two steps. First, uh, you you crush the malt, and then you have the, the word step. Uh, I mean, the liquid. Yeah. So you extract it and 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 you you get a liquid a liquid uh, uh, part. Um, and then I don't you know, have I... and so on so on. Yeah. And then the main answer. difference with uh, brewing method number three, as you will see. Okay. <laughs> there's no no word step. Yeah. Um. Uh, Okay. Sorry. No, th that's fine. I, I'm just, yeah, just to clear it again that this is the only step, the only pathway that has the two steps. Uh, no, no, it's no. not the only one. We we'll okay. see with the plant, it's quite similar to 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 that to, to the brewing method number two. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, from my, my point of view, <laughs> uh, that's the most interesting uh, brewing method <laughs> because it's completely different 
from the Western uh, brewing method with malt. Yeah. And uh, uh, this brewing method is the, the, the main brewing method used in uh, Asia. Even in, in most of uh, Asiatic country, I mean, uh, China, Japan, Korea, uh, South, uh, Southeast Asia, Vietnam, Cam uh, Cambodge, uh, uh, Laos, uh, Thailand, and, and uh, Myanmar, in Indonesia, and also in India. Okay. India, Nepal, Bhutan, uh, and so on and so on. So, a huge amount in the world <laughs> uh, use uh, 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 beer uh, 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 brew with this method. What I, uh, what I want to say, uh, if we compare the volume of beer uh, sell, sold uh, uh, around the world with the malting method compared to the, the, the global volume of beer brew with the uh, brewing method number three, it's almost the same, the same okay. volume. You know what I mean? I, I, yeah. uh, uh, if we compare the, the, the lager production in the world with the, the beer brew with that method, it's almost uh, equivalent. It's almost... Uh, okay. Um, it's, it's honest, it, it surprises me. It surprises me a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And is it like, it, before we, we discuss the, the methods always, is that... It, 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 it's is this not, a commercial brewing? Do they is this a commercial brewing format as well, or is it just totally kind of village based? Oh, to totally, yeah, totally. Okay. If, if you add, if you add the 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 volume, the, I mean the the volume brew uh, the annually uh, brew volume of chew chew that's a traditional beer in China with sake with Thai Q. Uh, in, in Korea, uh, with uh, most of traditional beer brew in India, and the same from Southeast Asia, that's a huge volume of beer, okay. very huge, because uh, <laughs> as you know, <laughs> uh, those countries are very populated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in Europe, we are, uh, let's say, two, two, two hundred thousand, uh, yeah, two hundred, uh, two hundred fifty thousand people, but uh, billion in China, yeah, and billions in uh, in India. <laughs> That's a lot of consumer. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's a lot of yeah. brewing, a lot of, a lot of people brewing, and that nobody over this side of the world is basically aware of. Like nobody. I've ever spoken has ever been aware of this method. Yeah, because uh, w w when people are, are, are speaking about beer in China or in Japan or in India, they don't speak about the traditional beer. They speak about, uh, I don't know, Azai beer, Sapporo, uh, and so on and so on. So they speak about their own beer. Uh, I mean, their own Western beer, Lager. Yeah. But they don't look uh, aside. Aside, they don't look at, at the traditional beer. But Chinese people uh, drunk, drink a, a lot of their own traditional beer. <laughs> yeah. And this is like, I mean, this is a huge... And Chinese league. people uh, drink a lot of sake. <laughs> 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 yeah. I, it's, it's, and I mean, it, it's a hugely complicated method i mean it it's requires a huge amount of knowledge to... no 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 it's, it's no? not so complicated okay if you compare it with with the malting you see here you have a malting process and then the brewing process if you compare it with the uh, the the making of the beer starter and then the brewing the brewing is simple the the making of uh, Brewing starter is a little bit complicated, but uh, uh, the, the whole picture 
is quite the same. Okay, so maybe just yeah, just talk through so exactly what this is. Um, it's using. Mm. Uh, and... So, yeah. The the the, the process uh, first. It, it, the, the the process is based upon the 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 fungi, uh, mic, uh, microscopic uh, mushroom which produce uh, amylase, very strong amylase. Okay. Uh, what we are talking about, that th th this uh, microscopic uh, mushroom uh, are, uh, on, uh, belong to the, the genera Aspergillus, Mucor, Rhizopus, Monascus, and so on and so on. Penicillium, uh, Amylomyces ruxi. Uh, they uh produce uh powerful amylase uh, almost equivalent to the alpha and beta amylase from the the malt that's quite the same okay so how to how to make uh, an amylolytic ferment or a beer startup um when I talk about beer starter, uh, I, 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 I use the term to denote uh, the amylytic ferment because sometimes I, you find in the literature the uh, beer ferment as uh, the yeast. Okay. So it's, it's, not, it's not the same. So uh, you, you have to grow uh, this uh, microscopic fungi on uh, starchy substrate so that that's quite simple you uh, first you you have to collect the the plant where you find this uh, microscopic mushroom okay. i am talking about the traditional way to 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 get them uh, yeah this, uh, I, I will talk about that uh, later <laughs> so, uh, this uh, microscopic uh, fungi are found on, on on plants, on their leaves, on their roots, on their uh, uh, stems. That's uh, completely natural. So you collect the plants, you dry the the roots, stems, or the leaves. You you you. Beside that, you, you prepare uh, a starchy uh, starchy root from uh, any source of starch, uh, and you mix the dried part of the plant, carrying the uh, wanted uh, fungi. You, you you mix them. You put them in a, in a let's say for example in a in a box or in a in a pot uh, you add a, li a little bit water you cover it with a specific plant uh, it depends on the country sometimes it's banana leaves in in africa it's uh, uh, pine needles in uh, for example in bhutan or in uh, nepal mm -hmm. uh, it, 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 it depends on the local uh, local flora. Uh, you let the 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 the, the fungi uh, growing, uh, so it produces uh, a, a mycelium, okay. like every mushroom. <laughs> you keep it warm from for several days, and uh, then you. Uh, make them in pellets, small small cakes, and uh, you dry them. You dry them. Uh, use uh, depends of the country. The, you use the, you, you dry them uh, under the sun or in a kiln or uh, above uh, the earth. It depends of them. And so you get a, a beer ferment that is, is is thrown here. It's a small cake. It depends of the country. Again, uh, here are some pictures. This come from uh, Bhutan, 
this is from Nepal. Uh, and uh, the beer starter can be kept for several years. Okay. And when you want to, to brew, it's it, it's it's quite simple. You you once again you cook the starch. It can be a starch from grain, cut starch from uh, roots, tuber like uh, cassava, uh, taro, yams, and so on, so on. So you 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 cook the starch. Uh, you uh cool it down to at uh, let's say uh, as usual uh, between 20 and 30 degrees celsius you mix uh, the the some uh, beer starter and you let the saccharification uh, and uh, the alcoholic fermentation uh, go along. Uh, that's a specific uh, process for this method. I mean that uh, the, the 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 cooked starch with the beer starter are in a semi-solid state. It's not liquid. It's, okay. it, it, it it remains a paste, and. The, the the saccharification and the fermentation, the alcoholic fermentation takes take place uh, simultaneously on the same uh, on, on the same pot. Okay. And uh, it, 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 it's it's uh, it's a mash. Okay. It's like a mash, you know. Okay. Um... So everything, uh, the mash become. Uh, simultaneously sweet and uh, fermented, of course. And you use water to dilute the starch only when you want to drink the beer. Okay. So See. you have to imagine a, a, a starchy paste, uh, an alcoholic starchy paste. <laughs> And, does... and uh, when 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 you want to drink the beer, you take a part of it, you put it in a, another pot, you add water, you filter, and you have beer. <laughs> you get the beer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've got about twenty thousand questions on this part alone. <laughs> so let, let, let's start with your starchy paste. Does anybody just eat it? Or can you just eat it? How alcoholic is it? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, that that's uh, the ah. Uh, what, what I have to say before the the this 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 fungi have also a, a specific uh, property. They host the. Uh, They have two uh, metabolism way. They can uh, use the, the the starch, and they are also another uh, metabolism, which is called the the, the glycolysis, which can uh, use the the uh, we can transform convert the the sugar into alcohol. So they behave as uh, amylase and yeast on the same on on the same uh, same times. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. They have, they have a double metabolism. Okay. They can, so, on the same times, convert starch into sugar and sugar into alcohol. This is why. The, the 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 both process occur in uh, on the same uh, step. Okay. 
this is done by the this uh, magic <laughs> uh, uh, fungi. So does that mean yeast? And, 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 oh, sorry, uh, there is, there is a, a, another consequence of this uh, double metabolism. Uh, it means that uh, the the degree, the alcoholic degree, is quite uh, uh, above the the alcoholic uh, density or concentration that you can get with the yeast. Okay. This means that when when you you you, you get the, 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 the starchy paste, the, the, the fermented sorry, the, the fermented starchy paste is quite more alcoholic than uh, uh, the same kind of starchy paste so you, you can ferment it with the yeast. So uh, this kind of beer most mostly reach uh, let's say 15 and sometimes 20 degree alcohol. Okay. It's quite uh, more alcoholic than uh, than uh, our our beer. <laughs> yeah, a lot. <laughs> yeah. So I does think, uh, with a. Uh, I don't know which which is now the the, the strongest beer uh, with malt, uh, probably uh, 14, 14 or fifteen degree. Yeah, that sounds about right. Good but uh, it it's not uh, yeah it it it's not uh, produced with uh, uh, now now we have the the genetic way to 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 make uh, yeast with which can uh, support uh, a strong uh, alcoholic medium but it's not natural so does the That's yeast play right. any part in this method or is it all down to the, the fungi mm -hmm. in this the, this fungi method do the yeast play any part or like is all no, no, the the, the, there's, no, there's no yeast in in, in it but uh, the, the, in such process you don't need yeast yeah i'm just wondering like it's mm -hmm. the you know is there any wild yeast that gets in there but then the level of alcohol is probably way too high it would kill off yeast yeah anyway. but uh, yeah of course it depends on the the context if it's if if this kind this kind of beer is made in a, let's say in a, in a village in a traditional way of course you have a wild yeast that can uh, also uh, <laughs> Uh, take place if uh, uh, you can find a, a yeast in, in inside yeah. the inside the paste, but it's not the primary fermenter. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no. And the, does the flavor of whatever the end result beer is is that purely dependent on the the type of starch you used at the start does it depend on the the fungi or is it a mix like do the fungi add any any mm -hmm. flavor to this the starch and also uh the the the, the beer starter okay of course okay. if you use uh, if you use uh, for example if you if you compare a, a beer produced by this uh, uh brewing method if you compare, uh, let's say, uh, uh, a barley beer and uh, cassava beer, it or, or a maize beer, it will be quite different. The maize beer are generally a stronger taste and flavor than uh, a barley beer. Yeah. So, uh, but the main uh, the main ar aromatics agents and so on, are, are given by the the beer starter. Okay. Okay. And you, I mean, I, I was looking at the Bhutan one. I mean, the, there's a whole there's a whole economy built around this, isn't there? About around these beer starters. The there's a whole. Ah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Of yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's it, yeah. Uh, the beer starters are uh, are mm, commercial item okay. because they like, like malt. Yeah, that's, that's the same historical process. <laughs> the same uh, process uh, evolution. 
Yeah. Uh, because you ca you can uh, the, the dry beer starter uh, can be kept for uh, several years. So uh, from village to village, from uh, woman brewer to another brewer, they they can uh, exchange their beer starter. Yeah, and for example, in Bhutan, uh, in the center of Bhutan, you find uh, beer. You you can buy in, in the market a beer starter that and uh, that are made in Nepal <laughs> or in <laughs> India, in okay. in northern India. And do people like so they, they, they cross the border <laughs> as easily as uh, I don't know uh, and any, any any any, uh, any commercial item. And are they branded in any way, or is it just no, 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 no? no. There's no one. There's no one that you say uh, this. Is uh, I, I don't know. I can answer. Uh, maybe, maybe somebody in uh, in India, I think, to 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 make a brand, but I, I don't. <laughs> I don't think so because uh, this traditional. Uh, it's used to make traditional beer. Okay, but uh, yeah, so uh, I... it, it's used. Uh, uh, it's generally brew uh, in, in the village. In a dumb, it's, it's let's say it's it's a cottage economy. Okay, uh, and uh, it doesn't follow our our rule, our Western rule of uh, uh, of trade. <laughs> well, presumably, like within a village, somebody will have a reputation of having the best starter oh, or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> but that just doesn't transfer off. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we we have the video on this. I don't know. Tu vas faire un livre sur les brasseries à travers le monde Oui. C'est le là. Après, ils doivent fabriquer comme ça. Ils doivent fabriquer comme ça. Et après, ils doivent laisser dans cette place ici, comme le boule. Il est assez jaloux à l'île de Il Et après, elle va mettre dedans celle-là. Avec tous les fleurs. Qui on a déjà vu, mm. et avec le paille de. pas le paille, le mm. corse de riz. On a dit, chi moche, t'es là, ni. t'es là, 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 alors on va dire qu'il a fait tout ça, sauf qu'il n'y a pas de destination. Ah non, 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 mais de toute façon, on va embrasser. Tata, on est ici, c'est tout le chinois. On est ici, 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 c'est la même chose. Et elle dit qu'elle doit laisser un sec pour faut couvrir comme ça. Elle couvrir comme ça. C'est la même chose. Elle dit qu'elle doit laisser un qui est sec pour quand il fabrique. Elle doit mettre le sec un petit coup, la même chose. Et après, elle met le blé. Le blé aussi, ah, ça c'est oui. le farine de blé. Et, et après, elle va mettre ici dans ce. Et après, elle met dans ce. Il y a des herbes. Il y a plus que ça dans les, dans les, 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 les 
des épines de pain. Ouais. D'accord. C'est là qu'elle le laisse sécher. Oui, 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 oui. un petit peu. Combien, combien de temps Comme tu disais, Roland. Elle dit qu'il sait quand elle sent l'alcool. Quand il sent l'alcool. Et après, elle dit que quand il sent l'alcool, et après, pendant ça, il sort. Télé et après, elle doit laisser sécher au soleil après. Quand il sent l'odeur de l'alcool, et après ça, elle laisse pour, pour sécher au soleil. C'est tout. C'est tous les moments, beaucoup. Mais en ce moment, c'est pas trop. C'est une tradition familiale. C'est ça. Et après, l'alcool qu'on a vu maintenant, le hara, pas, on n'a pas d'autres ventes dans le comex. Et tout le hara qu'elle fait, il est produit ici. Oui, c'est en bas. Hein, en bas. Ah, de toi, de moi, de l'aider. Ah, oui, c'est en bas. 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 Ah, oui, c'est Ah, oui, c'est en bas. Ah, oui, Ah, oui, c'est en bas. Ah, oui, c'est Ah, oui, c'est Ah, c'est Ah, oui, c'est Ah, c'est Ah, c'est Ah, c'est c'est Yeah. It's one thing to, for you to tell us how they make it, but it's another thing to actually see it. Um, and I, I guess what, one of my questions out of that uh, um, is, she used some old ferment on it. Is there a, is that a, a reason? Is there a technical reason behind that? Or is it, um, or is it just tradition? Oh, it's tradition. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's no technical reason. It doesn't add anything to it or... Yeah, but uh, you have seen it, it's it's a quite complicated process. Yeah, he, 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 even for the making of the beer starter, she used a first layer of a pine leader. Then she put on on, on it the 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 pellets, the the fresh beer starter, uh, and and you have seen the the. the The, the beer, the fresh beer starter itself, it's made with uh, uh, cooked starch, okay. uh, old beer starters, uh, uh, fine layers of uh, wheat flour. She put them inside the, the, the box. She put over it uh, a, a new uh, layer of pine needle. Uh, a little water, because without water, there's no biochemical bio uh, process, <laughs> of course. And uh, uh, she 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 keep them. She keep the the, the box in in a warm warm place. And uh, day after day, she 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 smell the 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 inside the box. If she smell uh, the, the 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 alcohol, mm -hmm. this means that the process is going on. Okay, so it, yeah, so it, 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 let's right. So so the she have to sometimes to to turn the 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 pellets uh, for, to to turn over. From one side to other to to the other side. This is a big. This is why she she make a, a, a little uh, little mark on, on each side to know uh, which side has been. <laughs> it takes several days. It depends uh, as uh, every time. It depends of the weather. It depends of the many many parameters. <laughs> the and uh, after that she dried the, the pellets. Okay. So she gets yeah, it to the where the fungus is actually starting to ferment the, the pellet. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like malting, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. And then, then kills it, or not, well, not kills it, but stops it. Stops it's the quite similar to the process which, uh, which will uh, uh, take place uh, during the, the main brewing process. That's, that's quite the same. Yeah, except that she stops it partway through. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, this is exactly what we what you do when we when we we make malt. Okay. We start your process. The difference is that with malt, there's no alcoholic fermentation. Okay. It's just uh, an amylolytic uh, process. 
you start the germination. It takes, uh, I don't know, after, after uh, it depends, uh, between five and 10 days, you stop the, the, the process uh, with uh, drying. At the same, <laughs> exactly the same. It's completely yeah. parallel, parallel process. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And this is, as you said, it's the number one brewing process in the world today. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, I, I don't know that that still blows my mind a bit. But um, yeah. So so that that's pathway number three. And at the top level, I mean, if you're just looking at it from without. The technical knowledge it looks very similar to the next one doesn't it uh the number, four, the number four yeah no no it's no uh, no no it's not okay. uh it's no no it's not really the, the same okay you have a, a liquid a liquid step uh in, in the number four uh, okay. brewing process you you, you use it uh, uh, i can show show the okay um I wanted to ask one thing before you, for, well, while you're setting that up. When we had Jesse from Quasa in Rwanda, remember we were talking you were, that that they have a method in Rwanda that sounded very similar to this, didn't it? But we, mm -hmm. we didn't have enough information to say if it really was. But um, and that was that in Rwanda they seemingly they have a plant, they collect the plant, they basically seem to make a start or something like something like this. Um, mm -hmm. But I was just saying, sorry, I'm just thinking out loud here. Um, one of the things that Jesse told me is that they do it with malted grains. But I'm assuming the malting, if it's the same process as this, then the malting kind of came in later as a, just was brought in that it would have been a traditional method would be to use unmalted grains in that as well. Mm -hmm. So... I just wanted to throw that out there because if anybody remembers Jesse telling us when she was on talking that that this does sound very similar and it this is a method that is used in Africa isn't it uh the the, the fungi yeah 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 so it's used in it's mainly well. used in Asia but uh, uh, um, it has been described by uh, let's say ethnologist and uh, in uh, in Congo for example in uh, uh, central Congo okay uh, they they used to 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 make beer starter with uh, uh, cassava yes cassava okay and uh yeah uh you you can find it also in uh, uh, uh as far as i can remember in in a, in equator in, in in south america uh uh an archaeo botanist uh as uh, as described it uh used by a, a, a tribe or uh, people, I can't remember, it's in Equator or in the uh, western part of uh, Venezuela. Okay. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was, uh, it's a good discovery because this means that uh, this technical brewing method is uh, uh, used in a, in other part uh, of the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's maybe uh, I'm not sure that uh, it's originated from Asia. That's okay. uh, historical documents say. Of, of course, the the the, the oldest source uh, concerning this brewing method come from Asia. Okay, but. That doesn't mean that uh, it has been, it has not been used uh, elsewhere in the world. Okay, that's um, uh, 
Uh, okay. Complex, complex question as usual. <laughs> uh, uh, a discovery, open, new question, <laughs> new question, <laughs> open, new yeah. response, and so on and so on. <laughs> so, so just before we move on from it, then just two questions I have. Um, one: Has anybody commercialized this fungi in the same way you have mushroom farms or anything? Uh, yeah, it's commercial. For example, in Nepal. In, in Nepal, you, you, you can buy it uh, on market. Okay. Uh, in Japan, that's different. In Japan, for example, or in China, the same, but Japanese uh, are start uh, the, 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 the commercialization of the, the uh, Koji. To, the, 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 the name of the beer starters in Japan uh, is called a Koji. Okay. Uh, and uh, you, 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 now you can buy Koji uh, on the web. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it's used by uh, by uh, uh, let's say uh, 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 experimental uh, brewers in in Europe okay. and, and in in, uh, in America. They they used to 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 brew a kind of sake uh, with the Koji. Uh, uh, boot from Japan. <laughs> okay, okay. So it but, could be... uh, it's it's not the traditional kaji. It's a uh, it's uh, let's say uh, uh, industrial kaji. Right. Yeah. But I because could now in in in, uh, in laboratories we have all all the way all the uh, we have all the way and all the uh, scientific method to to selected specific fungi right yeah <laughs> i could see that i mean maybe it's going to become an even bigger it's going to oh, if it's already the biggest brewing method in the world maybe it's going to be <laughs> it sounds like a, it you know like you said experimental brewers they're always looking for something new to do so this could yeah this could, but no. I, yeah i'm convinced that uh, this kind of brewing method will Probably in the future, will be mixed with uh, the, the the malting method, yeah. and uh, I hope <laughs> we will see the the the, uh, the the appearance of a new kind of beer, <laughs> a kind of uh, mixed. Uh, you see, mixed uh, mixed beer between a, a Western process and a, a, a method coming from uh, from East, <laughs> from Asia. Probably uh, just it, only... It will be very, very interesting. Okay, so welcome back. Um, I think that was a pretty positive and inspiring note to finish on just there. Hopefully we could see this merger of kind of East-West into... I mean, into maybe making a new unique beer style. But anyway, that was the first three pathways that Christian has identified. So in the next session, he'll be talking about the second group of three. Um, that one I hope to have out in a week, but it might be two weeks if I kind of get delayed a bit. So um, I hope you'll find it worth the wait anyway. Do subscribe. Do leave any comments, um, any Reviews, everything like that is helpful, but comments especially are nice to, to see. And um, if you have any questions there, we can maybe get, add them in there and we'll get Christian back at another time to, to maybe have a question and answer session if we can get enough people. Um, so that's it. I will leave you here and I will see you in a couple of weeks.